bitter root. Momentary lapse in judgment fed by soft whispers snuck into polyps of empty moments, permitting time for thoughts to fester and grow. Sweet murmurs tickle my tympanic membrane, their morse code decoded within my cochlea, sending synaptic surges to my brain. Commands rush along switchbacks, triggering my endocrine system to release more dopamine. Oxytocin, the bastard who started this mess, sits back and smirks at his accomplishment. Adrenaline fueling the tense muscles, the heart responding to its brothers and sisters. Sympathetic nervous system kicked into high gear, the irony of the name given to the sympathetic nervous system. Ready for a fight, brain placed on sleep mode to conserve energy. Here, the words begin to trickle out like a leaking faucet. Then, begin to spill out like a thunderous waterfall, no end in sight. The bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Here, it's raped my heart, threaded itself through my arteries and veins, clenched tightly, suffocating the me I should be, yet have no clue exists. Desires is where this began. The mind... Sodom flesh is death. Fix our eyes not on what is seen, for what is seen is temporary. As the sun sets, anger builds. The devil has a foothold and grip towards utter destruction. It is not I who is destroyed in this mess. In fact, it is my father, the Holy Spirit, whose tears of blood trickle down his cheek as he bears witness to the massacre of his daughter. His arm extended, his hand reaching towards the feverish fingertips, tapping, tapping out destructive messages. Through the thick haze of deceit, deception, and dishonesty, a crack so infinitely inconsequential appears. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. These words echo through the chasm, the defiled daughter unable to break free. Hypnotic musical lyrics play, petrifying her into a position of resentment, anger, and hate. Sister, Whenever you face trials of many kinds, you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. He knows she aches to be released from this prison. Her eyes begin to focus, the haze still thick. Change is now imminent. Things have shifted. With her last bit of strength, the daughter reaches out her index finger towards the faint glow. Immediately, the Lord's hand rips through her chest, pulls out her defiled heart, clenching so tightly the Lord squeezes out every last impurity that snaked its way in. That's when a shriek worse than that of a tantruming child could be heard from hell up to heaven. The daughter broke free and immediately was cloaked in a garment fresh and pure. All sins vanished. She appeared to him as she did when she was born from her mother's womb. He held his daughter as she collapsed into his chest, sobbing from shame and gratefulness. My child, forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as I have forgiven you.